Now we have our panel discussion and we're going there is going to cover the evidence and science oriented logic that places non animal protein as a viable solution to ensure adequate global food supply while sustaining our planet. Our host today is Rosie Wardo, co-founder and partner at Synthesis Cap. Challenges and do you think these types of alternative protein technologies have the potential to really shift global meat consumption? You know, I think I mean these trends are really long standing. I mean, beef consumption in America has already dropped 25% over the past 15 years or so. If a product is not tasty and if a consumer tries it and he doesn't like it, he won't buy it again. Of course. So taste has to be overwhelming no matter about which products we're talking about. What is natural about, you know, um intensive factory farming where you're putting like five layers within a factory of you know crowded spaces and and, and caging up animals yet yeah, as what ron said completely geared towards delivering consumers added benefits beyond just taste and you know ease of use 